planning is really important. Contingency training is really important. But we would always say no plan survives first contact with the enemy. So if all you're doing is stuck in your plan, think about you know, a contingency you pl plan you have for a cyber attack. If you're just stuck with your plan, the key about agility is being light on your feet because it just, it's nev things never go as planned. <laughs> okay? So it's a mindset of being like a, I'm gonna, I'll probably trip if I try and act like a bo boxer here in my high heels, of being light on your feet, being, being having high situational awareness, right? Being ready to see like, wait a minute, something's changed here. This is not, you know, how we thought it was gonna go down. And being able to have that situational awareness so that you can be responsive to it instead of being like, no, nope, checklist item number four says to do this, like, look what's happening, okay? So the, key, the really important key with that agility and resilience, it's a mindset, from my view. It's a mindset of like, look, I know we planned, I know we've trained, but in the moment, you gotta have this mindset with you and your team about like, how are you gonna see what's really going on? We call it situational awareness. There's days where my SA, it's, SA is the, the you know, abbreviation, is like high for some reason, and in some days where it's low. I mean, maybe I didn't get a good night's sleep. Maybe I got in a, you know, fight with someone at home. Maybe I, you know, whatever it is, I got some things on my mind, right? They can impact you as a human, so your, your situational awareness is, is lower. We call it staying ahead of the jet. I mean, you're not literally in front of your jet. But where your, your SA is high because you're, like, thinking ahead. You're thinking out front. You're seeing what's going on. You're responding to it. If you're behind the jet, you're actually like just barely hanging on. The jet's in front of you. And then you're reacting to things, right? And your, your synapses are not firing fast enough. And that mindset of agility, again, I believe it's, it's trainable as humans uh, and as teams. And it includes, I think, as again, this is whether in our personal lives or professional, fessing up when you make a mistake, right, Qu as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, n bad news never gets better with time, uh, right? Fessing up and having a culture that people can say, I messed up, like, we gotta fix this right now, I messed up. And you yourself saying, I made a mistake, I messed up, How do we, what do we deal with it? Just deal with it in the moment, okay? Address it, debrief it, and then you gotta like, let it go, you gotta move forward. We talk about, you know, you gotta look through the windshield, not the rear view mirror, okay? So if I'm flying a, a mission and I made a mistake and I'm thinking about the mistake I made five minutes ago, I'm not focused on what's trying to kill me out here. So you, it's literally in a mindset to say like, okay, we're gonna learn from that, like we're gonna stop looking at it, for, you know, we gotta let it go. And look forward because there's more risks out there, okay? So look into that windshield and not the rear view mirror. I could be flying with my gear down and my speed brakes out, right? Well, that's not gonna be very efficient. That's gonna create a lot of drag, you know? It's gonna take a lot of fuel. It's gonna take away from my ability to be efficient in that mission. And I think it's that way in life. Like, there's a lot of people that are coming to work every day with a lot of drag, right? Maybe it's what's going on at home. You know, maybe they're being impacted by something else that's happening, knowing your people knowing what's going on in their lives and being able to kind of reduce that drag so that they're not distracted, right? So that they're fully present, uh, so that they're showing up as their best selves every single day. And in our, in our own lives, and our own relationships, it's so important if you want to be agile and you want to be resilient because you're going to be knocked down and you're going to fail to be able to get back up again, it includes reducing that drag, getting rid of those regrets, asking for forgiveness and being able to show up fresh every single day about what the challenges and the opportunities are today.